guys, it's Ivy, and I am here today with this very easy, quick, fresh and light summer makeup tutorial. This is a look that I have personally been throwing on a lot lately due to time constraints, um, but also because in the summer, um, you know, you might have a little bit of a tan, your skin is looking nicer, and you can get by with a little bit less makeup. Plus, depending on where you live, um, it can be very hot and sticky, and the last thing you want is layers and layers of makeup on your face. So I've been doing this look because for me, it's my busiest time as a makeup artist. It's wedding season, um, senior picture season, so I am running out the door a lot lately. And this is a look that I feel totally professional and presentable in. Um, I don't feel overdone, but it's super easy to do and it's not going to require too much more than 10, 15 minutes, depending on if you want to skip or add some of the steps. This is a look that you really only need maybe two brushes for, um, and I feel like it's pretty low maintenance. So if you guys like this look, this sounds like something you need in your routine too, because you also have poor time management skills. Just keep watching. So even though this is a really quick look, I'm still using eye primer. Honestly, I don't think there's any point in doing any eyeshadow at all if you're not gonna use an eye primer, because it's just gonna crease and look like a dog doo-doo. So I am using my favorite Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. This is the only eye primer that I use, and it's the only one I will ever use probably because it primes the eye area perfectly. It's not sticky. It cancels out veins and discoloration because it has a little bit of that concealer color in it. I just love it. I'm going to move on to my face now. So I'm using the Smashbox CC Cream. I don't actually use BBs and CCs too often, but in the summer I have found I have been gravitating more to these. This has an SPF of 30, so that is awesome and very necessary. So I'm gonna put it on with my fingers because that's honestly the fastest, easiest way to do it. And I know a lot of you just put your foundation on this way anyways, so. All about efficiency in this look. And even though this is a CC cream, I do think that it cancels out um, blemishes and discoloration really well. It's not, you know, like a tin of moisturizer by any means. And if it were, I probably wouldn't be able to use it because I have melasma, I've got a beautiful zit right here. So I've got stuff to cover. So you just want to make sure that you get that blended in really well. And if you need to, I feel like my nose is a little bit red, so I'm just going to add a little extra on any area that needs it. And I am going to use concealer. If you are in a rush and you don't have dark circles, you could totally skip this. And even though people always tell me, you don't even have them, um, I do. My lighting just is really good for filming, so you're not seeing them, but I do have dark circles, and I especially have this, you know, melasma on my upper cheekbones. So I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. As you can see, I really like this because it's on its last life. I'm using the shade Light 18. I believe it's the second to lightest one. And I'm going to get this on my ring fingers and I'm going to kind of quickly place it in that inverted triangular fashion and then just Pat it to blend it quickly, just patting. I am not using this rubbing motion. Um, that's the one thing that makes me truly cringe when I watch someone else do their makeup and they are rubbing their under eye area back and forth and moving that skin around because it's just, it's not gonna do you any favors in the wrinkle department. So I am patting extra on that stupid Melasma there. So weird because a lot of women that have this exact uh, darkness um, have been pregnant because it, it happens when you're pregnant, I guess, a lot. I've never been pregnant, so you tell me. All right, so got the rest of the concealer on this side. Pat, pat, pat. Don't you dare rub. I'll call the police. The makeup police. <laughs> quick look but you still want to set your under eye concealer even if it takes an extra step because otherwise why do we even do it so I'm just grabbing some setting powder and quickly dabbing it on that area 
And you always want to make sure you take your finger and smooth any creases out before you set it. And again, dabbing motions, not sweeping this around and moving product around. And I'm going to use just kind of a little bit on the T-zone. I like a dewier look. Dewier, dewier look. And I have dry skin. So for me, setting my entire face isn't always necessary. Just kind of the T-zone area where oils could come through. But feel free to set your entire face if you are an oily person. So now I'm going to grab a bronzer. Um, this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Looks really cool. It's got like a swirly pattern on it. Plus it smells so good. It smells like suntan lotion and coconuts and just tropical shenanigans. This is not a tropical drink. This is a venti black tea from Starbucks, but it is necessary to complete this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to take a brush. This is my Make Expert Veil brush, which I love. The size is perfect for a sweeping bronzer on. So I'm going to grab some bronzer here, generous amount. This is nice because it's not one of those products that you touch it and you've got tons of product on your brush. You um, can really build it up gradually. So I'm kind of dusting that, not really contouring with it um, because I'm doing it on like the hairline and the perimeter of the face, tops of my cheekbones, not really underneath them because this is where the sun would naturally hit you. We're going to continue using the bronzer as a crease color, transition color. You can do this with any matte bronzer. Um, so I'm grabbing a crease brush and I'm going to just work this into the crease in circular motions and windshield wiper motions with a crease brush. This one is just um, it's from Sephora. It's like their basic collection, but any fluffy crease brush will work. Now I'm going to grab my Mison Jelly Eyeshadow. I think that's what it's called. Well, it's all in Korean, so I'll link it below. This is the pink beige color, which is basically a metallic rose gold, and I absolutely love this. This is like the easiest one-stop shop shadow, and you put it on with your finger. I mean, how much more simple could it get? So I just am placing this color all over the lid bringing it right up to meet that crease color. And this is just like the easiest two color look. It opens up your eyes, adds a little bit of dimension. It's just enough, that's how I describe it. I'm not super like tied to eyeliner. Like if I skip it, I'm totally fine with that. But I know a lot of people who would never ever leave the house without eyeliner. So today I'm gonna try out something new. Um, and I do like a dark brown liner. And this is CoverGirl's Perfect Point Plus, And this is a dark brown. The color is called Espresso. So we are going to try this out. Oh, it clicks up, okay. So I'm, I'm doing a look that's fast and easy. So we don't really have time to create a wing. I mean, hell no, we're not gonna do that. Um, and sometimes even just creating a line and smudging it out takes more time. So what I'm gonna do is tight line, which is on this part of the eye, the like the wet tissue that is at the base of your lashes. This is quick and easy, but it feels really weird at first. You'll get used to it. And what it does is just bulk up your lash line, but it's a super fast way to do that. So we are going to tight line with our eyeliner. So you're going to lift up and just run this right at the base. I find like this outside part is fine and here is weird. So just like sweep it across once or twice. But now I do not do liner on the bottom hardly ever, but I'm gonna just sketch a tiny bit like this, flip it over, use the little smudgy side and really just bring a tiny bit of color from the outer corner to where my iris starts. Be very, very conservative with this. If you get too much darkness on that lower lash line, especially because we don't have a line on our top lid, it's just going to look heavy, make your eyes look tired, and drag it down. 
So before I move on to mascara, I do want to get these brows in shape. Now, if you're doing this quick, fast look, you probably don't have time to take a pencil or a powder and really define your brows. But what you do have time for is Boy Brow from Glossier. This is a product very similar to Benefit's um, Gimme Brow. The applicator looks very, very much like it. Um, what's great about this is that this is far cheaper, as well as being cruelty free, Benefit is not. Um, so I'm going to just brush this through quickly. I'm going to concentrate more or put more pressure on the outer third of my brow because that's where the hair is more sparse and then kind of just quickly do the interior part because I don't need to lay as much color down there. I just want to keep my brows in place. This product does not deposit a lot of color. Like you're not going to be able to get too out of control with it. Okay, so we just need to finish our eye look with mascara. I'm going to use the Susan Postnick Color Coated Mascara. This mascara is one that I've been trying lately. It's totally new to me. I've never heard of it until recently, but I really like it because it's a very natural, quick to put on mascara. It does not, you know, dump a ton of product on your lashes that you then have to like spend time, you know, separating. So I'm going to throw this on quickly. We're doing a really fast look and the last thing you want to do is do lip liner, lipstick, something that requires perfection. I'm definitely not a liquid lipstick, anything like that. So a product like Pretty Balm from the brand Root, this is the color Punch Love. This is going to be your best bet because you can literally do this in the car because you don't even need a mirror to do it. It's, you know, kind of like a lip tint or a lip balm meets lipstick. You can layer it to the amount of color you want. It's going to hydrate your lips, give them a little color, but not feel sticky. It's not going to require maintenance throughout the day, aside from just like a few swipes when you need more. So this is going to be your best bet for a super fast um, lip color that adds color without requiring time and precision. Okay, so this is our final fast fresh and easy makeup look for summer. This is something that you can do really quickly and get out of the house looking presentable and ready to see other human beings, um, but not feeling sloppy. Like I don't think this look is at all, you know, sloppy and thrown together because we focused on just a few key steps, but doing them, you know, really cleanly. So this is perfect for summer, um, for busy moms, busy students, what have you. I hope you guys like it. I hope you try it. And as always, thank you, thank you so much for watching my videos. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.